Hi, my name is Jane and I'm a nutrition educator here at Treasure Coast Food Bank. Today I'm going to show you how to make a quick, healthy, and delicious turkey chili with beans. I chose this particular recipe because turkey has more protein and less saturated fat than ground beef. That's the fat that clogs your arteries. I like my chili with beans simply because I love beans and they add fiber, flavor, and depth to the dish. So let's get started. First, I'm going to do a process called mise en place. In French, it means everything in its place. You always want to gather all your ingredients prior to starting any recipe to ensure that everything is close at hand. Also, a great tip is to review the recipe prior to making it. This will avoid any surprises when you start cooking. I've chopped one pepper. You can choose any color, one celery stalk, one medium carrot, and one onion into a small chop. I have one can of diced tomatoes with the juice and one can of navy beans drained and rinsed. I'm using a packet of chili seasoning, two tablespoons of garlic and onion powder, and one teaspoon of black pepper. Always choose powder instead of salt. By choosing powders, you avoid added salt. Look for these items at your local store. You always want to heat the pan first be put it, before putting your oil in it. If you put the oil in first and heat the pan, the oil will get too hot and be ruined. Always remember that. The first process we're using to prepare the chili is called saute, which means jump. You're going to place a small amount of oil in the pan and cook your food. They'll literally jump from the heat and oil. Now that my pan is hot over medium heat, I'm adding the oil. I just spray it on the pan. Add one pound of ground turkey to the pan and start separating it. Now that I've let this cook for a minute or two, I'm going to push it around the edges of the pan and I'm going to place my cut vegetables in the middle. This process is called caramelization. You are browning or caramelizing your vegetables to bring out their flavor. Stir occasionally to keep the vegetables cooking evenly. You may need to add more oil or turn the heat down. Keep an eye on your vegetables. We're going to let everything cook for about 9 to 12 minutes. If you want to add another vegetable, you can chop fresh spinach and add it now. This will give you added iron. Spinach is also high in vitamin A, C, and K, folic acid, and calcium. It really is a superfood, isn't it? You can see how beautiful these vegetables and meat look. This is what the caramelization will do. It will bring out all the flavors in your meat and vegetables. Now that everything has been sauteed, it's time to add the rest of your ingredients. So now we're going to add the tomatoes, the beans, the chili seasoning, and your garlic, onion, and black pepper. And we're going to mix everything together well. We're also going to add two cups of a stock of your choice. You can choose either vegetable, chicken, or beef. Now that everything is mixed, you're going to want to turn down the heat so that you get what's called a soft boil. Small um, bubbles in the mixture. This is where your flavor will all come together and make the delicious chili. It will also allow the mixture to cook down so it's not quite so liquidy. You'll know your chili is cooking nicely if you can smell the deliciousness. After 30 minutes, add another two cups of broth. Mix everything well and let your chili cook for another 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. Our chili is done and ready to eat. Some people like to put a dollop of sour cream, cheese, and or onions on top. You can also use corn chips to eat your chili. Enjoy your chili. Bon appetit.